we're going to do our top three. We're going to have a bunch of different segments that we want to throw on the podcast or the show every once in a while. And the first one that we're going to do for our top three is top three hunting TV shows that you watched growing up. So, like we mentioned before, leave your answers yeah, This below. is your chance to share what you watched as a kid growing up. Yeah, so we're going to, we're obviously going to look at them and we'll probably on the next podcast come back and say this is what everybody was watching. It seemed like everybody was watching Jury Outdoors or something. We'll be uh, poll questions on YouTube here and our social media channels as well. So we'll try to get get a gauge when we come back as far as what, you know, interested the most people. Yep, so if you're listening to the podcast, go to one of our social medias. It's at Whitetail Instinct, Facebook or Instagram. Obviously on YouTube, just comment right below. So I'll let you start. Your number, we'll start with number three. Your number, number three. three hunting show that you remember watching growing up. Some of ours are probably going to be the same, obviously, we grew up in the same household. Yeah, we'll go from that. For me, number three, Winchester's White Toe Revolution. People like Alan Treadwell, Bob Folkrod, and Mark Kaiser. It's just those names to me are synonymous with like watching hunting on a cold fall day. Like Mark Kaiser was like, I was obsessed with him. Like just watching him hunt, and he was hunting in Nebraska, and like he just had a like his. He didn't necessarily have an accent, but he had a way of speaking a on way, the show. Yeah. Like, I could just hear that. If you watch Mark Kaiser long enough, and then you go out and film your own, you'll you find start yourself doing talking, it or talking like, like it. Mark Kaiser or Melissa Bachman. If yeah. I watch uh, one of their two shows, and then I go out and we film, I end up talking like, like one that. of them. Yeah, just like, <laughs> but I just remember those names were synonymous. And that was, you know, we're young, but that was still at a time when YouTube hunting shows weren't a thing. No. Like, if you were watching hunting, you were watching on Versus Channel, and it was these guys, like these celebrity hunters. So, for me, it was, uh, that's my number three, Winchester's Whitetail Revolution with, with those names. Yeah, you remember Versus Country? That's not even a thing anymore. Right. I don't even know what channel that turned into, Fox no, or no. NBC Sports or, I don't know. But NBC Vers Sports, I think. Yeah, but Versus Country was like the big thing. Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings, and then as it got closer to deer season, I remember we always had a Friday off before football, high school football playoff games. We'd sight in our rifles and come back and versus country shows would be on. And that's when you knew, that's when we only hunted rifle season when we were younger. And that's when you knew deer season was like close. Like if you, even today, I have them saved on my computer because you can get them from. Um, off Winchester. Yeah, off Winchester. You can get them and watch them. And I have them saved, and when I miss deer season, or when deer season's getting close, I watch, watch them. I watch them in preparation for yeah, my list. <laughs> it, feels like, it feels like deer season when I watch those, and I'm sure everybody yeah. else has it's just shows. hearing those people's voices, too. Like it, just brings, it brings me back to being like 10 years old yeah. at home, you know, pumped for deer season. I don't even know what those guys are even doing anymore. My uh, eyes are still on, but like Bob uh, Holcrod, I don't even it's know. It's like deer and deer hunting. Okay. This is Mark Kaiser, I believe. Yeah. That show. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know what they're doing anymore, but those were just great. And then if you go back, um, if you go back and watch them now, you can tell half the deer footage isn't even from where they're hunting. Like they weren't produced even like most of the guys on YouTube are producing now. You can the yeah. production quality is not great compared to what it is now. But watching it then, not it a awesome thing. It's the, the greatest world. thing ever. Yep. So my number three along the same lines is Winchester World of Whitetail. Mm -hmm. I just went with a different one. So, but still versus country World of Whitetail. Um, you're, I'll do my number two. Okay. Uh, my number two, and I, I don't even know if he's still around, and it wasn't that long ago, but I feel like it was when I was a kid, uh, maybe I wasn't, but Gun It with Benny Spies mm. was my number two. It was relatable. It was the first hunting show that was, hey, he's just like us, he's funny, he doesn't take it too seriously. Half, his, does half his, his hunts, he didn't kill anything. Yeah. It was about him shooting and missing. Like you said, the biggest thing, relatable. Yep, and that's what the hunting industry is still missing and definitely was missing back then. It was yeah. just him having fun hunting in South Dakota. Yeah, but it was great. Yeah. It was just it was a show that you we made sure to sit down and watch. Like yeah. a primetime ABC show or something. It was a, one of the shows that you we made sure to watch. Yeah, the Toaster Olympics. Oh, that was the great. best. I laughed so hard. Yeah. I mean, these are 15 minute episodes TV. Toaster Olympics was the funniest thing. If you haven't seen it, I don't even know if you can find it. There's you a probably, Toaster Olympics 1 and 2. Yeah, if you can find them on like Netflix or something, I'm not sure. But if you can go and watch Gun It with Benny Spies and watch the Toaster Olympics yep. and then watch all of them, yeah. but watch watch those, I mean, just hilarious. I don't remember what the guy's name, when they make the sandwiches, I won't ruin it, because if you can find yeah. it, watch it. When they make the sandwiches on the Toaster Olympics, greatest thing ever. Yeah, and just, like you said, it's just relatable, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but the best day 
of our White Tail Instinct lives was when Gunner with Benny Spies liked one of our posts. Yeah. Do you remember that? It's been a while. I don't remember that one. I can't remember. It's been. Oh a, no, no, I do. I don't remember what post it was. It's been a long time back. Yeah. But Chance texts me and goes, "Gunner, Benny Spies, Gunner with Benny Spies liked one of our posts yeah. when we had like 15 followers. We just yeah. started. We were in college or something. Yeah. Like he liked one of our posts, so that was one of our. Yes. Yeah. It's just one of the, uh, just like football players and everybody else. It's one of the. We Benny looked up to we looked, looked up, up to Benny Spies yeah. in that TV show growing up. Yep, it was great. Part of the reason we were doing and, what we're doing. And it's just a, like I said, it was relatable, but it was why, like us, and I think we've talked with the Honey Public guys a lot, obviously, when you work there, but that's what they enjoy, and that's why their group and their show is so popular. It was a group having fun, and that's what his show was, and that's what we enjoy about hunting. It's the, when we get us, me and you, and Dad together, it's just the group hunting and having fun aspect of it that he really put into the show. Yeah, and so. it was it wasn't just who can shoot the biggest whitetail. It was we're gonna go pheasant hunting or we're gonna shoot pigeons out of a barn. Yeah. And but trying to get permission how many, to hunt pigeons out of a barn. How many shows would I watch him shoot pigeons? Yeah. Yeah. Because remember the one he's like, good news, he doesn't own it, but he says we can hunt it. <laughs> Laugh so hard at that. It's not I don't know why it's funny, but it's funny. Yeah, yeah, it's a great show. So if you haven't seen that, most people probably have, I don't know. It's hilarious. Try to find it somewhere. Your number two? Yep. My number two, Bucks of Tecamati with David Morris and Jeff Oxley. I forgot about that one. Yep. That yep. was a good it's, probably, te- it's more Texas hunting, but it back then I don't know that it was. Yeah. But it was, they had their own food, like their food or food yeah. plots or something. Bucks of Tecamati, like they can, the theme music, everything. Yep. I Jeff Foxworthy's on there. That, that one I remember. I never thought of that one that would have made my top three had I thought about it. Yep. Because, well, one, Jeff Foxworthy, again, funny, relatable, and again, it's one of the ones you remember waking up at. 7:30 on the seven on Saturday morning to watch David Morris and Jeff Fox right? against the it's the names too. Those guys were the hunting names, the hunting celebrities at yep. the time. Were David Morris, Jeff Foxworthy, and the, yep. the other ones we talked about. Where now kids are going to wake up and talk about Aaron Warburton and Zach Farinbaugh and Dan Infall. We're you know yeah Benny Spies and David Morris and Jeff Foxworthy. So that was a good one. I forgot about that. But you're right. The theme music and everything you can like feel it. And they did like the hunting hot seat yeah, segments hunting. where they talked we'll talk about just like this. There's yeah. like a podcast yeah. segment. You know, at a three minute clip, yeah. they talked about an issue. I forgot yeah. about that. With hunting hot show. seat. I totally forgot about yeah. that. See, now I just want to go back and watch all yeah. the episodes. I'm sure we can, you can find, find them. them. I'm sure you can find I'm those. Sure. But yeah, I totally, totally forgot about that. Your number one? My number one's Gun It with Benny Spies. Okay. Yep, I put <laughs> that one switch. a little higher up yep. and put Gun It with up yeah, there just because of the relatability and just how funny it was. Yeah, but I put Winchester's White Tail Revolution as my number so one. You put that? So we, just yeah. have, we had them yeah. switched around, but about the group. We would have had the same three had I remembered Bucks of Tecumati. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had the same Well, three. we grew up in the same house. We're probably watching yeah. the same thing. But, I mean, back then, it's not like now where you could have 800 YouTube channels you watch. Yeah. There were only a certain number of... Shows. I know for some people it's the DVDs. We were a little too young too for young the DVDs. For yeah. well, but I remember watching a few, but we were too young for those. They're real tree monster bucks. Monster bucks. We were a little too young for that at the time. But yeah, these channels on Versus and some of those were where we watched their hunting. Yeah, so like we said, we want to know. I'm just interested to know what people listening or watching, what your shows are. Because we know what ours are. Age, you're going to see the age differences. I think they're probably going to be grouped up into... The versus country type stuff, the DVDs before, and some of the younger guys are probably going to be, might even be, you know, Midwest Whitetail, Grown Deer TV stuff. It'll be interesting to see how it all breaks out. So we definitely want you guys to comment below, message us, we'll gather it all together, and hopefully get back to you with what everybody's thinking. Yep.